Hi there. Everybody should know who I am by now, so I won't even say who I am. I can tell you from my perspective, little sister, how this would go. From a certain perspective. Now, people, men, women, boys, girls, cats, dogs, birds, everything, whatever. People make assumptions. And since your brain is a computer, and you know how computers work, you gather data, analyze, distribute the information where it wants to go. Now, I'm going to explain from my perspective why things are the way they are based on my perspective. I could be wrong, but I think I got about a 90% chance, so I'm going to try anyway. Now, when you see a constant group of people doing nothing, constantly, over the course of so many years, I'm always going to blame it on history. We were children and we learned from those who we watched. Everything you see goes in and is processed. When I was a little kid, I couldn't see colors, black or white. I remember one time I tried to be this white kid's friend. And um, his father came over. I mean, people used to beat him up at school all the time. So his father comes over and tells my grandmother, uh, your boy's going to have to stop playing with my boy. Of course, he got beat up every day after that. But then I learned there's a difference between us and them. There's a reason why he didn't want me to be his son's friend. So that was a negative thing that I saw growing up. And at home, since I grew up with mostly women and a drunk uncle, I saw women's perspectives in certain things. You know, life is life, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm two minutes into this. Let me speed up a little bit. So, based on what I've seen about women and growing up and moving out the house at 13, moving in with a woman and, you know, seeing shit, then things going bad, moving in with my auntie who had daughters, and then, you know, being with different girls who had kids there's a perception of what people see if you see a bunch of knuckleheads growing up in a certain community these little girls grew up like little boys you know so they hard head some of them are hard head and this is all you see is hard headed little girls and when you get to a point where you're a certain age where there's more fish in the pond you seem to float toward those that you're best comfortable with that you have seen growing up. The same little hard head girls that you used to run with as a kid. When you go to high school, it's normally the opportunity for you to meet different people, expand. Some of these kids don't leave the neighborhood. Some of them don't go to high school. Some of these young girls go to school and then school is cool, meet some dude, whatever shit happens, then end up in one of those adult schools, end up pregnant, whatever, then raising her daughter just like what she saw. So once there's a bunch of kids, then there's no adults. I mean, there's, there's nothing but kids and kids, and, and kids don't think like that. They don't, they don't think that, okay, by me calling this woman a bitch, for no apparent reason at all in front of all these people and now I'm gonna turn around and talk to this girl over here all sweet and nice don't work like that the mind is not ready in some of our people to go on to the next level they won't reach maturity until they're 30 something now the maturity level of the individual African American between X age and Y age is not what it should be. That is why we lack behind because we're not mature enough to move forward. So when it comes to trying to find somebody in a relationship, you tend to go 
If you're used to seeing hard headed, that's what you're going to go to. If you're used to seeing those church schooly girls, then that's what you're going to go for. So, the same thing applies to the female. You don't see nice guys, therefore you don't float towards them. When you do float towards one, you automatically have the mindset that shit, he's just like the other ones. Therefore you'll treat him a little differently. Therefore he'll react a little differently. Maybe not like he would if you would have just came off like yourself. So it all depends on the chemistry of the mindset of the situation you in which you were raised in. I'm not a sensitive brother at all. I'm looking scruffily. You think I should just stop trying to grow the hair? Okay. So what I really want to say is this. When you when you go through these situations in life and you're trying to find somebody and you want to be happy with them or or just find something something on the something that you guys can uh, agree with uh, something that you have in common besides knuckleheadedness now I remember when I first met my wife we go out to eat mm. I'll have the New York with the shrimp and the lobster tail you know she said I have like the prime rib and salad and Give me a volcano or whatever. I'll have my meat done. She said, I have mine medium. Medium? The first time that I'd ever seen a woman of color eat a piece of medium red meat. And I'm thinking, oh, oh still kind of red. Ooh, ooh, woohoo, willies. You see, a sophisticated woman will change the ghettoish in any man. But I wasn't too ghetto anyway. I was always different. I always wanted to branch out. But these young kids nowadays, they don't want to leave the neighborhood. I'm going to rap. I'm going to be playing football. I do basketball. And, you know, the other two brothers, they're like, man, I'm going to sell dope and hang out. The other going to say, I'm going to play video games and live at my mama's house. There's no realistic dreams anymore in the hood. It's just a blatant reality. The reality is hard headed knuckleness is the way in the hood. Hard headed knuckleness. Knucklehead hard knuckles. I mean, it's just the mentality of man, respect me, bitch. N word. You know. Then they, you know, get out of junior high school and drop out because all they saw is hard-headed knuckleness, or knuckle-headed hard brains. I mean, it's just stupid what you see growing up in the hood, and when you leave out the difference. It, damn, the hood smells different when I leave. The thing is this. When the Indians leave the reservation, they don't have the same problems that we have. Now that we're leaving the hoods, moving into the suburbs, we have to expand our minds in this little hood mentality. The hood created by the people who control us, marketed, probably getting paid for using it. Every time we say the hood, they probably get some money for it. So, um, that's it. All I can say is, if you're around stupid people on the way up, you're going to gravitate towards stupid people. And until you learn how to be around other people other than stupid people, you will not find that person other than the ones you gravitate to. I drug it all out just to say something fast in the last 30 seconds because, hey, that's the truth and that's how AIX do it. I didn't want to say my name on this video. Thank you, little sister, for letting me comment on your video. And you've been tubed. Marketing. Trademark. Ding. Oh yeah, I'm having problems on my webpage, so that's why I'm looking corny. So I put my video up that I promised everybody I would have. It's on VOHTV, AIX Live. Uh, you should notice me when you see it. Thank you. And have a nice day.